Hey, are you considering buying a house in the Baltimore metro area? If so, you may want to act soon. The market is on pace for a very slow fourth quarter, with home sales transactions to be at the lowest level since 2014. Despite this, prices are still relatively affordable, and the correction is expected to be less dramatic than in other metro areas. Get the full scoop now, so stay tuned for more. Hello everyone, welcome to my report on the Baltimore metro area housing market. I'm Steve Wilson, local Baltimore realtor, licensed general contractor, and investor with over 18 years of local experience and over $165 million in deals under my belt. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps my channel grow and allows me to continue bringing you content like this, and I much appreciate it. After surpassing 7%, mortgage rates fell by half a percent by the end of November. Although this drop in rates was not enough to induce buyers back into the market, it still resulted in the typical winter slowing pattern that we see. Fourth quarter sales in the Baltimore region are on pace to be the lowest since 2015. Home prices continue to rise year over year, with November median sales prices up 2.7% compared to last year but prices in the Baltimore metro area have fallen 8% from their summer peak. Prices had grown rapidly over the past three years, but housing is still relatively affordable in the region. It's probably because we live in a linear market. It is expected that home prices will be relatively flat in 2023, with the biggest risk of price declines in Baltimore City. Baltimore area housing market activity will continue to be slow in the coming months, with home sales transactions much lower than a year ago. However, the housing correction in the region will be much less dramatic than it will be in other metro areas. And according to Bright MLS forecasts, the number of home sales in the Baltimore metro area is projected to fall by 6.4% in 20, uh, 2023, putting transactions at the lowest level since 2014. And as a result, buyers interested in purchasing a home in the Baltimore metro area should act soon. Despite the slow market, prices remain relatively uh, affordable and the correction is expected to be less dramatic than in other metro areas. So with the right information and a little patience, you can find a great deal in the Baltimore area housing market. It's important to remember that the housing market is constantly changing and it's important to stay up to date on the latest trends. If you're looking in the Baltimore area, of course, I can provide you with insights on the current market conditions, local housing trends, and more. With my help, you can make an informed decision when it comes to buying a home in the Baltimore metro area. Thank you for watching my January market report. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Please like and follow to stay tuned for more updates on the Baltimore area housing market.